Hello folks, I'm back with another video on my channel that is a little different than usual as you could tell by this tiny little drawing and model of me that I drew. It isn't really accurate to how I look in real life since I sort of recently got a haircut and also I don't know if my art skills are completely accurate but I try my best. So treat this as the equivalent of like a VTuber model or a profile pic of a character that sort of vaguely looks like me but doesn't actually look like me. I don't know. I try my best. This isn't what I actually look like. So this idea for this video randomly came to me and we're working with it. I don't know if I mentioned it in my other videos but I don't believe in favorites. I'm way too indecisive to stay consistent and if anything I probably go through phases where I'm super into something and then I'm not into it and some time will pass and I'll remember it exists and think of it again. The result is getting into the show all over again or craving to read fanfics on a ship, whatever it may be. I go through peaks and dips in my interests. So I'm not really the type to do a tier ranking of animes I've watched. Like that doesn't really appeal to me. I'm not really much about ranking like shows based on how much I enjoy them because once again my interests like peaks and dips like it goes up and down over time so it's not really going to be consistent it's just going to be what I feel on that particular day honestly because I'm very indecisive so because of that I decided I would rather do more particular tier list rankings that may be more funner for me and the one that I thought of personally was the depiction of ages in anime I'm literally just recording this like on the fly I might have to like cut out portions where I stumble through my sentences so if there's any weird cuts in this either a family member interrupted me like mid me recording and then obviously I have to like cut out the audio so that my family remains anonymous I don't want like their voice out on here on YouTube that'd be terrible also I usually stumble a lot with my words. You don't usually see that in my videos. I either script my videos or I cut out me stumbling through my sentences because I just, I'm not very articulate. I struggle expressing myself through words out loud. I'm usually better at writing than I am at like speaking out loud. So that is also probably why a lot of videos take me a long time to make because I struggle speaking through a microphone to let out my thoughts but I'm gonna attempt to do this hopefully it doesn't end up too weird like I'm hoping this sounds okay so I'm going to attempt to do a tier list on as you can see by the title depictions of ages in anime what do I mean by this I mean I'm going to be ranking how animes draw visually in terms of body proportions different age groups so do they accurately depict you know from a difference in age from being you know middle school to high school to you know adult is there an actual visible difference and is it accurate to how teenagers actually look that is mainly the premise of this video because i feel like there's a lot of youtube videos out there where people comment and point out how odd it is that most anime don't really show high schoolers looking like high schoolers they kind of usually either end up looking very very old like way older than their actual age they look like they're in their 20s sort of like how live action tv shows nowadays like they have actors that are in their 20s or 30s but they're playing high school characters it's similar to that some animes do that not every single anime which is why we're going to be ranking them but a lot of animes do obviously i'm not going to go through that many animes i think i only got like 29 for this video that i pulled up for ranking up here but i will be pulling them up oh here we go sorry i nearly misplaced where i put all of the images of the different animes that was just ignore the scuff of this okay just ignore the scuff of this video this is my first time doing something as intricate as this where like i designed a little icon for myself where i'm actually speaking or technically not really speaking just opening my mouth like a little puppet that's the equivalent of what i did for this artwork so we're trying our best here we're really trying so i'm gonna go through each category so the s tier is titled the rarest pokemon card because as you could tell by how i spoke about animes depicting ages they don't really usually do it right so that's why i called it the rarest pokemon card it is truly very rare for an anime 
to accurately depict teenagers. Honestly, I would be surprised if they somehow managed to do it. I'd be surprised if we get more than like three animes at the rarest Pokemon card here. I'm probably gonna be very strict and not put that many up there. Maybe only one, we'll see. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So the next tier is the A tier, which is gets a high five. It's basically the equivalent of they've got proper body proportion. They look like around teenage like age, but like obviously not quite because you know, it's an anime, so it's not gonna look perfect, but so they may not be able to nail like the details in terms of like maybe some teenagers have more freckles or like details about themselves that make them visibly teenagers, you know, like pimples, freckles, acne, anything that might, you know, visually show that a character is a teenager. They can't exactly show because it's an anime, they can't put that much detail into the animation realistically. So they just get a high five. They did their homework and they got the job done. Like this is like somewhat accurate, but not like the rarest Pokemon card level. It's not like S tier amazing depiction of ages where I'm like chef's kiss, you're doing amazing. No, it's like they just get a high five. You're doing good. I'm happy with it. It's not terrible. The next tier, which is B tier, is you did your job and got paid for it. So like this is similar to like the body portions are sort of okay. Like they're kind of teetering on the questionable range, but not extremely questionable. It's like kind of just average, typical, what you expect, bare minimum. They give you not too crazy or amazing. It doesn't, you know, spark too much joy in me. It's just kind of like, eh, you're okay. You, d you did your job, you got paid artists, I'm happy for that. The next tier is C tier, if I'm doing this properly in my mind. I'm getting a bit confused because I don't have the letters out, I just have the my new names already, I've already typed them out, so I'm trying to remember which one's which. Yeah, this is C tier, it's the green one, which I titled questionable, but they tried. So as this tier means, it's questionable but at least they tried their best like i'm trying to i'm trying to give them throw them a bone like it's questionable but at least they tried like it's not completely terrible where i'm like disturbed and then below this is i believe d tier which is has never seen a teenager probably the first tier name that i came up with for this video has never seen a teenager like literally the first thought i have whenever I see an anime where it's like, why do these kids look like this? They have never clearly seen a teenager. Teenagers do not look like that. So that is D tier. And then F tier is flush out my eyes, please, where it's like, no, like just no period. That is it. Like the sentence is over. Flush out my eyes as in, you know, in this, like when you took science in high school and they had those devices where you, they, they um, flush out your eyes, where they pour water into your eye and it's like you flush out chemicals. That is what I'm talking about. Flush out my eyes, like they're burning. I've got chemicals all over my, my face basically because this is a terrible depiction of different ages in anime and it needs to be stopped. Like this needs to be stopped. That is a category where it's, it's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing it like this? Very, very terrible. Worse than questionable, but they tried. Worse than has never seen a teenager. It's like your, my body would vis viscerally be angry at how they look and how it's not like they don't look like teenagers like what are you doing so that now that i got that out of the way let's get to the first show we're gonna do <laughs> which is let's see which one did i want to start with um i don't really think it matters what i start with so should i just choose the first one on the list that i have on the side should i just do that maybe Probably. We'll just start with the first one. So first one I have, ooh, nope. Oh, there it is. Is banana fish. Why is it ginormous? Do not question it. This is how we're doing things for this video, sadly. Okay, I made that incredibly tiny now. So banana fish is the first show we're gonna be doing. Sure that fits, okay. So banana fish, I think personally, Ash, looks older than his age. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be like, what, like 17 years old in the anime or something like that. He's supposed to be a teenager, but it could be, I could see that the reason they might've drawn him a bit older is it's supposed to be like a commentary on the fact that he 
was forced to become an adult for himself. Like, this is sort of like the adultification of a child where he's, like, forced to take care of himself. He's forced to do all these things where he's basically the adult of his own life. He's provided for himself. He's doing all these things. So I could see why he kind of looks older. AG is 19, and I think he does look 19. 19 year olds do often still have a lot of like baby fat on their face. They look very young. AG looks young enough to me. Ash just looks older than 17 to me. He looks like he's the same age as AG. So he's not, it's not gonna go in the rarest Pokemon card because I don't think it's like top tier. From what I remember, I do think they drew children as actual children. The children in the show look like actual children. So I would say this gets a high five. Like it's not amazing, but it, it could have been a million times worse banana fish like it could have been they could have made ash look extremely buff and like over the top buff I and mean, then I'd, I'd be like what are you doing he's supposed to be a teenager he's kind of got that lean muscular look that's more realistic to being like a 17 to 18 year old right so it's not terrible so i'm just gonna put it and get to a high five next we've got big wind up which is a sports anime. There's gonna be a lot of sports anime on this list, by the way. So Big Windup is, I would say, probably one of the best to pick, like, I, I, I gotta be honest, they look like high schoolers. They, their faces are very high school, like, they're, they look very young, they're clearly children. It follows the characters that go from middle school to I believe her first year of high school. I, from what I remember, it is a great show. I always rewatch it at some point in my life, but I haven't rewatched it recently, so I can't really remember all of her names. I'm pretty sure his name is Abe. I forget the main, oh, is it Mi Misashi or something like that? Something like that. They're amazing. Their depictions are clearly children, like first year high schoolers. You could tell by just this image of them, like, they look like high schoolers to me. This is accurate. Also, the adults look like adults. The kids look like kids. It's accurate. It's also very cute because in this, this is the only anime, I think, where the parents, like, for all, the entire team, like, all the moms show up to watch one of their games or something. It is the cutest shit ever. If you haven't watched Big Wind Up, I definitely recommend it. I'm not really a big baseball fan. I've tried to watch Ace of Dying multiple times, but never finished it or got around to trying to finish it. Like I've tried to watch it more than once and always have been too lazy to continue watching it. Big Windup is a short enough series where I was able to quickly watch. Definitely recommend it, super cute. Rightfully deserves the rarest Pokemon card. Those kids look like kids to me, okay? I'm happy with the depiction of the teenagers in this. These people know what teenagers look like. Okay, next is Fruits Basket, the old one, not the new one that recently came out because I have not watched that and I refuse to watch it because I am one thing too lazy to watch it and another just not. Like it, for me, Fruits, Fruits Basket has a very specific significance, so I cannot revisit that time period of my life, and it belongs in the past. Similar to what Ukai says in Haikyuu, mainly nostalgia factor. I gotta leave that memory in the past, so. Fruits Basket, I believe, oops, accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Okay. Fruits Basket is, like I feel like most, I believe Fruits Basket is a shoujo, like most shoujo, the teenagers look like teenagers. Like from this like image I see of them, they all look teenage age. I don't know if it's because shoujo style have bigger eyes, but for me, they all look very, very young, especially Toru, she looks super young. So for me, most shoujo nail the age. I would say from what I remember, they all look fairly young. The characters that are older look slightly older. It is the rarest Pokemon card. Like, they're doing their job. It is amazing. We love Fruits Basic, the original Fruits Basket series, anime series. We love it. It is iconic for a reason, okay? We now moving on. <laughs> That's the rarest Pokemon card. That was short, but we got through it. Next is another romance Blue Spring Ride, which is, uh, I forget the Oh, Aoharu Ride is in Japanese, I believe. Blue Spring Ride is in English. This 
series, I believe. I don't know if it's it would be as high as a rarest Pokemon card, but it's most definitely giving teenage. Like they look vaguely like teenagers. He might look a little bit too old. I remember he looked too much like his older brother kind of and then like their ages sort of you can't really see the age difference as much so i don't think they're at the level of a rarest pokemon card i think they're similar to banana fish where it's like they get a high five like it's not terrible but it's not the rarest pokemon card we're not doing the absolute best because i'm pretty sure his older brother looked a little bit too much like him like shouldn't his older brother have looked older and that whole weird plot with like the girl having a crush on a teacher but it was also weird why did animes do that a lot back then who knows weird questionable stuff terrible i'm pretty sure she doesn't end up with a teacher which is good because i feel like older animes they would have done that illegal predator stuff nope i do not want to see that no 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 to that she i'm pretty sure she ends up with the other friend of the main guy I don't remember any of her names because I watched this back in high school or yeah I think it was high school yeah definitely high school not university I watched this back in high school there's no way I can remember like any of her names so Blue Spring Ride gets a high five they're, they're getting the job done they don't look extremely like old and they don't but I do think they lo it loses points because the older brother doesn't really look that old like he should probably look a bit older i don't know it's questionable that he looks the same as his brother okay next is toradora toradora wonderful show i was super into this when i was in high school oh my god no not high school was it elementary school i can't remember either grade eight or grade nine i can't remember what grade i was in Okay, I can't, how do I get both of them in this? Oh my goodness. This is not working. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Nope. Okay, this process is getting a little too much. Okay, so Ryuji, I think his name was Ryuji, right? He, his head's just gonna be cut off. I, I can't do anything about this. Unless I make it, okay, I'm just gonna make it slightly taller. Okay. So, in terms of Toradora, from what I recall, the adults look like adults. The kids vaguely look like kids. I think I should put it in... Is it in between these two? Mm. This is where my indecisiveness is showing. Okay, obviously Taiga looks like a teenager, but does... The whole point of a plot is that he looks way too scary for his actual age like people would probably assume he's older but some kids are like that where they do look older than their actual age so i think it, totoro gets a high five a lot of romance anime i think nail the showing the age well am i gonna have enough room on this row let's see gets a high five we're, we're getting the job done we should probably do a bad one Okay, let's do a bad one. I have two separate categories for Bleach. So the first category for Bleach is the later seasons. Bleach is absolutely <laughs> showing age in terms of the later seasons. I think season one and two, they looked more like teenagers. But the later seasons, like once um, Ichigo starts the Ronkar arc towards the end... In the beginning of our Ankara arc, I and mean, then obviously full bring arc, like this Ichigo, he does not look like a high school. Like what? So because of this, obviously, I'm gonna put it in has never seen a teenager category. I don't think it's to the extent where I need to flush my eyes out. Like I could totally, or should I? No way. Actually, it might be. I I, I gotta give it to it's. Ichigo does not look like a teenager. Like, I, I can't keep lying to myself. I know I love Bleach because of a nostalgia, but oh my goodness, this is not working. We're literally just gonna be getting Ichigo's hand. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do it like this. It's so tiny though. 
Okay, we tried our best. Blush out my eyes. Why why does he look like that? I I I think it would be more realistic if he was like in his twenties and he looked like that, but it's unrealistic. So flush out my eyes, please. Properly draw teenagers. I, I gotta put a, I gotta be harsher on these animes because I'm being too nice. So I'm putting the later seasons of Bleach and flush out my eyes, please, because that is not how teenagers look. Next we got Spy X Family. The show, oh my gosh, this image is way too blurry. We're gonna make it smaller so it looks less bad. Okay. The show everyone's talking about, I might make a video on it if I don't forget about making a video on it. We'll see if I do. But Spy X Family or Spy Family, I think people call it Spy Family, but I call it Spy X Family because I think it's funner that way. Spy X Family just sounds better to me. Um, it makes it sound more like fanfic because it's like the X for ships and to me this is the fanfic the show basically fan fiction the show so I initially was gonna put the writer's Pokemon card because Yor and Lloyd are clearly adults Anya's a child she looks like a child all of our kids did but then the volleyball episode happened and that kid does not look six years old therefore I cannot, cannot put it in the rarest Pokemon tier, card tier. Like, it can't be an S tier. Does it get a high five? I think it should be lower because that kid looked not his age at all. So I think I'm going to put it in, should I put it in questionable? But no, I'm going to put it in the not A tier, but B tier, which is you did your job and got paid for it. That was a whole comedic sequence, so I understand the point of it. Like, it has a point. It was for the comedy of a joke. But the fact that it exists means it lowers another tier. So it lowered, like, two tiers. Initially, I was going to put in the rarest Pokemon card, but Spike's family gets lower because of the volleyball episode. I'm sorry, I can't rank it higher than you did your job and got paid for it. That, that is where Spy X Family is going. Next is My Little Monster. Does anyone even remember this show? I think only a few people probably do. My sister really loved this, which is why I ended up watching it. She recommended it to me. So basically, where would My Little Monster, as most, I believe My Little Monster is a show, Joe, or whatever. From what I remember, it's a romance. I think it's a shoujo, but it's a possibility it's not a shoujo. I, I struggle occasionally to see between shoujo and non-shoujo. I recently watched a video where a person went through how to tell the difference, and it's usually the eyes. To me, their eyes look large, so I think it's a shoujo, but unless I see the manga artwork and I never read the manga, I can't really tell how detailed their eyes are. I hope it's a shoujo, but it could, not, it could possibly not be. It is a romance anime, basically, and from what I recall, they all vaguely look like teenagers. I don't think it's the rarest Pokemon level where I'm like, ooh, like you are doing top tier age, like depicting their ages. I think they get a high five. Like they're getting, or wait, no, yeah, yeah, like they get a high five. It's, the kids look like, she, the main girl, she looks like a teenager. She kind of looks like Maka from Soul Eater. And to me, Maka from Soul Eater looks like a teenager. So we are putting them in the A tier. We are really getting through these. Okay, next we have is Code Geass. Do you remember how pointy these people looked? Oh my goodness. The style, the pointy chins, the weird necks. Damn, is this nostalgic. Okay, so because of how the style is so pointy and like elongated and they all look like extremely thin and sort of a scary way that kind of freaks me out looking back on it. As a lot of these animes, even My Little Monster, like looking at images, I forget how thin ro a lot of romance animal, romance anime, why do I say animal? Oh my goodness. Romance anime, like how thin they depict the teens and also like people in general. 
there is rarely any inclusivity in terms of body proportions in anime. Like, it's rare to have popular shows more diversity in terms of a body shapes, but that is, it is what it is, and apparently that is the norm for anime, so I'll just take, I'll just take it as is and deal with it for now, but that's, looking back on it, you, do you also question, it's like, how was I, how was I able to watch this? I question how I'm, I was able to seriously watch Code Geass and take their body proportions seriously. So I think in terms of like their ages, they do look like teens because they're so pointy and like thin, but they're like, it's so, the style is, isn't really what I strive to see in terms of body proportions. So I'm going to put this a bit lower than you did your job and got paid for. I'm going to put it in questionable, but they tried because to me, like they do look like teenagers, but the bo were, were the body proportions properly done? I don't think so. I think everyone always questions how their necks are drawn in that show. From what I remember, everyone clowned Cody Yes yeah, for having an odd style in terms of the drawings. Like looking back and seeing how oddly they were drawn. So I'm gonna put questionable, but they tried. It's not has never seen a teenager like they clearly look like teenagers to me from what i remember but they aren't it's not amazing it could be better it could be better do better next is full metal alchemist i just put the brotherhood one i'm pretty sure i watched yeah i watched brotherhood that was a while ago so full metal alchemist amazing show as for how they depict ages, I'm trying to recall. Okay, so due to Ed's larger eyes, like his eye shape, how it's larger, he appears distinctly like a young teen. Like to me, he looks like a teenager. I couldn't find ages for everyone on the wiki page. From what I remember, Lanfan didn't have her age available, so I have like no idea what her intended age is. Ling Yao, to me, looks way older than his age. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a teenager. He's supposed to be like 15. Ling Yao, when I looked up images of him before this, he does not look like a teenager, like the, his proportions. So I don't think we're going to get a high five. Most definitely not S tier. So I'm going to say it is because of how odd Link looked in terms of like how he was drawn like he doesn't really look his proper age is it because he uh, I, I i'm gonna i i think this is where it belongs questionable but they tried like it could have been better i think i i ranked bleach so low so i think because a lot of shonen-esque shows they're drawings of the characters especially the dudes is questionable in terms of how they draw the teenagers it's like what are you doing okay next we've got yuri on ice iconic but for me has aged a bit to me yuri on ice is so old to me like i will probably never rewatch it i'm not really attached to yuri on ice like i remember yuri on ice was such a big deal back then but looking back it's like like, why was this a big deal? Sometimes I question, I'm like, I'm like, uh, was it that good? I don't, like, it's not really something I revisit. Like, if I, if it was that good, wouldn't I have, like, rewatched it a million times? I didn't. So I'm not really emotionally attached to your own eyes. I know a lot of people are. I'm just not in that category of, I'm not in that category of people <laughs> that are super attached to your own eyes. So your own eyes I believe does well in terms of depicting ages. From what I recall, everyone, I don't think it'll be the rarest Pokemon card tier because I don't want to put too many animes in that category because it's like the rarest Pokemon card. It's supposed to be very rare. Let me think this through. You're on ice. In terms of characters, what do we've got? We've got Yuri, to me, looks his age. He has a babu face. He has a babu face, baby face. 
that is very realistic in terms of like adults having baby faces that is realistic i have a baby face and i'm an adult i do not look my age but it is okay because i just deal with it and people probably just assume i'm a, I'm a teenager when i go outside oh god so the kids definitely look like kids the teens look visibly younger than the main adults therefore I'd say they got ages pretty well. Victor was older than Yuri, and you could see that he's older, like you could clearly tell by their designs that he's older than Yuri. The younger Yuri is 15, like the younger Yuri that's blonde, and from how small he's drawn, like drawn visually, the age difference is clearly obvious, though I think his eyes could have been drawn larger to make him look a bit younger. like they could have maybe shown his age a bit better but at least he isn't like overly buff like other 15 year olds drawn in anime like when you think of shonen shows where it's like they draw them super overly buff i'm like the younger yuri clearly has a physique of a figure skater okay and i think that works in terms of his age the only character i was shocked by because I was trying to look up her wikis and I'm looking at my notes on my phone that I wrote about like their ages. Minako, who was the ballet, I believe, like she helped coach Yuri, the main character Yuri. And Minako was apparently supposed to be 50 years, years old. 50 years old. Was she a ballet teacher? I think she was in ballet. Or was she also a figure skater? I can't remember. She was like the older coach person that had a lot of experience and she was supposed to be 50 years old 50 years old and i guess there are 50 year olds that have younger appearances but i don't know if it's possible to this extent if i put an image of her on the screen like is it possible to that extent so i don't think it's s tier also the character i wrote down mila she kind of looked older than 18 her wiki page said she was 18 the other character, Sarah, was 22, and they kind of look the same age. So that is a bit questionable. Why does Mila look similar in age to Sarah when, like, there should be a clear age difference? So, but it could also be realistic because some 22-year-olds look still visibly like teenagers. So technically that could be true, but due to the fact that Minako literally is 50 years old but doesn't look 50 years old, I would say, you're a nice get to high five. It's not S tier level. I wish I could put it at S tier level, but Minako caused the points to be lost. I'm sorry.